Hi, I'm Rick Pedley, and welcome to PKA Safety Supply. We're going to be talking about VOC detectors today. VOCs, or volatile organic compounds, are all around us. VOCs are a broad class of chemical compounds with carbon-based molecules, such as aldehydes, ketones, and other light hydrocarbons. So you'll find VOCs in the vapors rising off some spilled gasoline. When pulling the cap, off of a Sharpie marker and taking a whiff, all the way to the perfume on the pretty lady that just walked by. But why is this important? Because not all VOCs are as obvious or benign as the exam examples mentioned above. The first one that comes to mind is benzene. This nasty little devil is a known carcinogen and is toxic in the most minute quantities. According to OSHA, the time weighted average, or TWA, is 0 0.5 ppm, or parts per million. That is, the average concentration that you, as a worker, can be exposed to is one half of one part per million over a typical eight hour shift. By way of reference, the threshold of smell for benzene is between eight and nine parts per million. Since benzene is most likely going to be part of some other compound, such as gasoline, what possible chance do you have of detecting it on your own. One method is to take an air sample using a special air capture device called a sorbent bed and have it analyzed at a laboratory. This costs money for sure, but more importantly it takes time. A VOC detector can give you answers in real time on the job site. Could this be valuable information? While a VOC detector has many uses, it is important that the device be rugged and that the results be accurate and repeatable. While we have a particular interest in the VOC detectors from Ray systems, the theories and uses are common to many competing brands. In our next installment, we'll go a little further into how the device works. Thank you for watching, and we welcome any questions or comments. Please visit our store at www.pksafety.com. Goodbye.